cooler this morning than it's been for the past couple of days. And uh, I just wanted to let you know uh, what my thoughts were in regard to these little recordings that you've sent in. Number one, you guys are completely tech savvy in regard to uh, getting these videos together. And I thank you so much for this. Uh, throughout the week, I've been watching online services and uh, we wanted to do an online service and uh, we could have uh, put up a bunch of music videos and and uh, I could have preached a sermon before you, but the truth is um, that's not what I miss. Uh, the church is not about a person standing in front and sharing all that they know that they have studied on all week long and, and decided that they wanted to uh, impart some great wisdom to you about Jesus and his love. You know about Jesus. You know about his love. You know about... Uh, the beauty of his creation, but you also know that uh, what we miss is each other, and uh, that's what I've missed. I've missed you and missed seeing you, and uh, yet this is the time that we live in right now, and uh, I know we could get out and we could go and do, and we could uh, probably get together in twos or threes, but every time we do that, the multiple just gets larger, and so... Uh, this isolation is, is difficult, uh, but called for. And uh, I want to be that voice of reason in the midst of that, uh, of calling for that, is that uh, the more that we do, the quicker this will pass. And uh, God is in the midst. I have complete uh, peace about that. Uh, I know that just by watching your videos that some of you are uh, sheltering in place. And so... Here we are enjoying uh, the outdoors and uh, enjoying uh, being home with our family. And uh, I have enjoyed uh, that uh, quite extensively myself. I've uh, been going to work every day and, uh, and continuing to do what we have to do to make a living and to put food on the table and those kind of things. And, uh, and so uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, you are loved, you're being prayed for, uh, individually every single day um, and uh, so I'd like to share with you these videos that uh, you have sent and I'm so thankful uh, that uh, that you participated in this way it is so good to see your face so good to hear your voice and um, this is the church the church getting together uh, and I hope that you will uh, enjoy this as much as I have and and when we get back on the other side, uh, I'll share a little ditty uh, at the end. And that's church for this week. So it's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, no wind, fortunately, and uh, just a brisk, cool breeze uh, this morning. So I love you. Uh, can't wait to see you. Uh, oh, what a day that will be when we get together and share and are able to hug and, and elbow bump and uh, tap feet or whatever it is. Uh, I'm excited uh, for when that will be. Uh, hopefully it'll be sooner than later, um, but we'll listen to what the authorities say and, and we'll follow along with that. Love you. Watch these videos. There's some great, great things being said. Have a beautiful morning. Hey, folks from New Wine. Hey, we're out here enjoying God's creations. Uh, missing you guys, but we're looking for some mushrooms and if we get some, if we get enough, we'll be happy to share, but that's going to be a long shot. Yeah, that's a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> but we're up in Arcadia in the woods, and it's peaceful, and we are good, and all of ours are good, and we pray that all of yours are good. Yes. We continue to keep you in our prayers. We miss you. Uh, congratulations to Andy and Julie, because if my calculations are correct by now, they should be man and wife. Yay! So many years of happiness and prosperity for all of us. Please stay safe and stay in. If you have a wide space, get out and enjoy the fresh air, because it does wonders for our soul. Yes. We love you all, and we'll catch up soon, hopefully. God bless. Amen. Take me a minute to get tuned up for this, but we're missing you guys at New Wine, and we, Petey and I, thought we'd just do a song. She's going to do the recording, 
Now I'm going to do the same. So here we go. This your new wine. Hope you're all doing fine. We're sitting here and just singing to you. Again, 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 get gung ho about Jesus. Stars will be sleeping, take the sun, take the sand in the way. Hey, hey, but the brother Bill, because a bunch of bitter boys didn't bunch of bad boys, and a big, big smile. Got one more in me. Thank you all for indulging us. We love you. Everybody, a happy Easter. Amen. Last year, that I say, thank goodness. Um, loving God's beauty, and hope you guys stay uplifted and prayerfully safe. Hey, New Wine. Good evening. You can tell where I am and what I'm doing. Waiting for that to heat up. I just want to say hi, and I miss you. And I love you. I miss your hugs. I miss your um, prayer time together. I miss just seeing you and being with you and catching up with you. Um, I miss all that there is to miss about you. So um, I wish we could be together in person. But um, this is a pretty good uh, backup plan. So I love that we're doing this. Um, today or this week the kids and I have been working in the yard and there's one of my flower beds we've been working in and um, getting the pool ready and just um, you know getting a head start on everything that we like to do this time of year. Um, Kirk's been working hard at building engines and doing his thing so um, but we've had lots of extra time together this week um, around the dinner table and around the living room and around the TV and um, so it's been good and um, I'm thankful. Um, so I hope you're making the most out of your time and um, I want to encourage you to stop and think about what God's been up to in your life this week. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly just like we always do. Um, take time to look around and um, see his fingerprints everywhere even in the midst of all the things that 
um, we've been doing this week and that we hear on TV and um, I know you're praying and I know you're being faithful. I know you're taking care of business. I just want to encourage you to keep doing that. Keep praying, keep being faithful, keep doing the hard work that we do as Christians on our knees. Um, keep giving all the glory, keep paying attention, keep looking for God everywhere you turn because I know when you do that, you'll find him. I love you and I miss you. I can't wait to see you again for real hugs and real kisses and real face-to-face -face time. I love you. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jan and Mitch and um, I know here we are in our backyard. We're enjoying this San Diego-like weather on the 28th of March on Saturday evening about 6.30 and we just wanted to come to you and say hello and let you all know how much we've been missing you and it's a very difficult time as we all know right now and we're very restricted on what we can do and where we can go and uh, just thank goodness that we all still have each other and um, We've got the Lord to lean on, and, and uh, thankfully we all still have uh, Kirk here as our shepherd to, to lead his, his flock, if you will. I know he won't like that, but uh, that's all right. We're all part of it. So uh, we look forward to seeing everybody soon. We don't know how long it's going to be, but uh, I do think it's going to be quite some time. So uh, we'll just keep doing what we need to do. And here's Jan. When I was in middle school slash junior high, my mom gave me a charm bracelet. And on this charm bracelet, there was the charm of the mustard seed. On the back of it was the scripture, if you have faith as the grain of mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible unto you. I read a little story the other day about a villager, a village that was uh, wanting to gather together to pray for rain. On the day they decided to pray for rain, all of the villagers gathered together but only one little boy brought an umbrella. That, my friends, is faith. And may we all have the faith of the mustard seed and the faith of a small child. God blessing to each of you, and we love you all. Hey there, cool cats and kittens. Um, I have been doing a lot of yard work recently to keep myself busy, and it has um, proven very good uh, prayer time and um, reflection time. Um, I miss you guys. Um, I miss my friends, however few they may be. Um, I miss my team. Um, I miss all the social connections and, um, um, but I'm thankful at the same time to wind down, close down, um, do a lot of, um, things outside um, do a lot of things for, um, uh, for myself, get back in shape through those projects, um, building, hauling, digging, all the things that we were kind of meant to do in the first place. Um, anyway, um, it's, it's, it's been really good. And I think God had a lot of good planned in it. Um, uh, when the virus broke out, but I cannot wait for it to be over and I cannot wait to see everybody. And that includes you guys. So signing off. Okay. Take three. We seem to make the video too long and it won't go. So anyway, real quick, I just want to say we miss everybody. Hope everybody's doing well in the present crisis. And did you say hi? Hi. There she she said <laughs> something. So uh, just want you all to know we miss seeing you. Hope everyone is doing fine. And uh, just keep the faith and know God's in control, and we'll get through this. Hope to see you soon. If you need anything, please call. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Good evening, New Wine family. Kelly here on the front porch sitting across from Leonard and the puppies and enjoying the last bit of vitamin D for the day. We've been planting flowers and herbs, vegetables, everything I could get my hands on. Went to Lowe's for a little bit. Everybody and their dogs were at Lowe's, by the way. But we are doing great. Hope you're doing great. There go the puppies. Love you. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. And we're praying for you. See you soon. Hi, guys. I just sitting here in my usual spot when I can get out and it's warm enough. I'm uh, really missing my church family. I really am. Hope you guys are doing well. We're doing well. We're just kind of tired of staying in the house, you know. We get out and kind of drive around sometimes. 
just spend a little time and praise and worship and and keep ourselves occupied trying to be Sorry, I about dropped you. So anyway, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I'm praying for everybody I can think of and those that just generally I can't. Uh, hope everybody's doing well, and I can't wait till we uh, get some time to spend together again. I'm sure we will. God is good, and I love him, and I appreciate him. Thank you, guys. Hey, church family, it's the Hardens here. We're just sitting at home doing our thing, thinking of all of you and praying for you all the time and just missing you terribly. When uh, Dad texted us this morning and, and wanted a video from us, we were excited, and we all talked about things that we love about church the most and things that we miss the most. So we just wanted to share that with all of you. So Haley, what's what what's something you miss about church? I miss seeing Grandpa and listening to his awesome prayers and playing in the playroom with Maddie. Maddie, what do you miss the most about church? I miss I miss my grandpa and I like playing and playing with my sissy and Blakey and my bubby. And I like playing with my biggie and it Yeah! I like to get donuts, and um, I, I, I wish I was for today to go to Banos. That would be fun. Yeah. Mom, what do you miss the most about church? Something I miss about church the most is just being with you all and um, being real with people. And I really just miss that. Anyways. Yeah, the two things that I miss the most... It have to be um, worshiping. I love being able to just um, dive into Jesus and God and what they're trying to do in my life and take that opportunity to just listen to his words through music. I think it's such a powerful time for me personally. And I really love the opportunity that we're, we all have at church to share what's on our hearts and what's on our minds. We don't always have the opportunity to do that, and that's such a genuine time, and I, I truly do miss that. We love you all so very much, and we miss you, and we're just praying that this madness ends quickly so we can all be reunited again soon. Stay healthy, stay clean, and stay in touch. We love you all so very much. Bye. 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 quarantine thoughts time um things i don't miss that i thought i would i know it's still early but i don't miss going to restaurants um i don't miss going to target for no reason i don't miss school that probably won't change uh things i do miss i do miss sitting in a crowded theater and you and a hundred strangers all just laughing at the same joke um i miss going to midwest city and seeing someone i know every single time i go there uh, I miss long car rides, specifically, to anywhere, for any reason. Um, I miss sitting on someone else's couch and talking to them about life and whatever else. Um, so I've been thinking about this, and I've been thinking that, you know how before this, um, I'm sure there's still people going hard at it, even now, but before this, I heard a lot of like, oh, I hate people, people, I, I don't want to be around people, I don't like people, da 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 on and on, and I just think that it's really cool that even after a few days of society being shut down, we as humans just miss each other. It's almost like we're family or something.
Hello, New Wine family. Um, we sure do miss everybody. Um, just a few things that are going on with us. Um, I guess I'm unofficially retired. I didn't know that March 12th might be the last day that I get ready for work and and go in and, and have a class. Um, I don't think I'm quite finished, but I don't know that I'm gonna ever have a class again. So um, mixed emotions about that. Um, and Sherry's at home at work with me. No, Sherry's at home at work. I'm at home working on the dining room table. So we have adjusted our life for that. It's a little different than we're used to, but um, we're blessed and and having jobs that we can work at from home and not having to worry about any of that. So um, we've been we've been riding our bike and walking in the trails and doing yard work and um, doing things like that. We've really enjoyed a new series that Gary told us about, The Chosen. We've watched, we're on our second time through. So other than that, we miss you guys and we love you guys. Yep, can't wait to get back together and just give everybody hugs or even before we can do that, give everybody air hugs or something like that, um, just to see everyone and be able to talk. So, um, also, just I know we've posted about the one minute pause. It's been really good, and uh, so if that's something that that would would bless you guys, I I hope you'll look into it. Of course, it's on the ransomed heart, and uh, we we're just hopeful and looking forward to how much everything means to us even more when all this is over. So I said two or three minutes. Two to three minutes. Okay, well, we're good. So we're after over two. So love you guys. Love you. Bye. So there you go. Uh, some uh, wonderful, wonderful videos of our New Wine family, those that participated uh, this week. Uh, we might do this again. So uh, be thinking throughout the week what you might want to say. And uh, maybe if you go a little bit longer, that would be fine. And uh, we'll just do a few each week until we get out of this. Um, I was reminded that uh, in my prayer before each message, and you provided the message this morning, just seeing your face and, and seeing what you're up to and hearing your voice, but uh, before each message on Sunday morning, uh, I, I pray these words, um, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me, melt me, mold me, fill me, and use me. I think we might be... Uh, uh, in the melting and molding stage right now because life is not going to be um, exactly what it was before uh, because of what we've all gone through and the experiences that we're sharing. And so as you come out and you are molded by God throughout this whole process, uh, this little bit of, of new life, this new way of living, uh, Maybe we can begin to see what God is doing in our midst. He's drawing us together uh, in the family unit first. Uh, I believe just like he intended it because we are in the family unit of God. And drawing that together first is more important than anything that we can live in. And so uh, we ask God to melt us and to mold us. And then we ask God to fill us. You know, I know that the New Wine family is not in need of my filling. Uh, it is in need of God's filling, and you are doing that every day by reading books and watching videos and praying and listening and keeping your eyes open wide to see what God is doing in your midst. And then God wants to use you. There are people that are afraid. There are people that don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but we do. And... Uh, we just give thanks for that. So I give thanks for you this morning for the message that you brought to me. I give you thanks and praise because you are a faithful people. And we love a faithful God who's going to get us through all of this. I give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. You guys have a great week. Well, I'll keep up with you uh, by sending you some emails throughout the week and then we might run this again, see what happens. I love you. Have a wonderful day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go be 
the people of God in this hurting world. Amen.